really bushy plants and it is an annual but I'm going to start harvesting some of these and these are the uh, calyx on here the more I harvest this now it's going to start pushing more flowers here because it's just starting to get cool here in Northern California where we live we're in zone 9b so you can see this one bloomed this more earlier these are a member of it's a hibiscus and it's also a member of the okra family that's why the flowers sort of look like okra when they they when they bloom so if you look here there's my uh they're sneaking into the frame they We'd love to let them free range so if you watch my egg swap video these are a couple of chicks from the egg swap there's Farah. okay it is a boy but we've tried to name it other things but it just looks at me like i'm stupid so these ones here that have already bloomed i'm going to cut these off to make my tea with so before i cut this off i will show you the reason why I say these things will push more flowers if I trim it up now. Right there below this bud, this calyx, is another calyx. It's getting ready to bloom. So if I take these off the tree now, or bush, you'll, it will produce another crop of these. Every part of this bush is actually edible. And it is very very tart like sweet tarts almost before i cut all of these off i did want to show you something the more mature ones seem to be lower on the branch so the further out it goes the newer ones on so you'll notice when you grow this the ones back closer to the start of the branch are the ones that get ready first or will bloom first so one more fun fact about this this particular bush this one is out in full sun so you can see how bushy and how big let's see if i can get to the base of this tree you can see the base on this tree is very very thick this is an annual like i said so this is basically a one and done but if you grow it, you can harvest the seeds every year and have rosales every year for free. But like I said, this one's out in full sun, so you see how well it did. Let me go to my... All right, so these two rosales are in like partially sun. They only get sun for about six hours. So you can see they're all planted at the same time. And... Never mind the two ding dongs running around like banshees, but they are not as big. All right, here's another one of those one and done. This is stevia, which should be a one and done annual, but since I'm in 9B, I seem to be able to keep it over the winter. It did die back, but this year it grew back bigger than it was last year. So I'm gonna cut the top off of this and I'm gonna take it in with me. All right, so when I get them in the house, they look like this. What you're gonna do is just peel these off and throw them in my strainer here so I can wash them off. Okay, so I'll get to the rest of them here in a minute, but you just peel this off and this is the stevia. I'm just going to break the leaves off. Throw them in here also. If you leave these on the plants to dry, this is what you're going to harvest to get your seeds. And your seeds, they'll turn black once they're completely dry, but the seeds are in the pod in the middle. I'll be right back. All right, so now that I've rinsed them off and they're all clean, I'm gonna dump them onto my cutting board. And I'm gonna take my manzalunza, mandalina? I'm probably mispronouncing it. Manzaluna. Yeah, 
And I'm just going to just cut this up because the more cut surfaces that the water can get to, the more it'll steep out in the water. And no, you do not have to go get one of these knives. You can use a regular <laughs> knife and go at it. She just wanted to be fancy. Fancy. And this stuff will turn your fingers red when you peel it. So just be aware of that. So now all I'm gonna do is put it in my teapot thing. And I'll come right back. And now we're just going to pour the hot water in it. And this in Spanish is also known as Jamaica. And we're just filling it up and we're gonna let this steep for probably about a half hour. And it's gonna turn bright red pink. I'm gonna put this part back on the teeth thing and just push it down just a little so it all is submerged. So it's been sitting for about a half hour. I'm just gonna push my thing down here and you can see how red it is. I like mine over ice. You can drink it hot if you like. This is what it looks like. Now the calyxes, you can dehydrate them and then have them for later.